Welcome mutants, this is Keto Fox bringing the 3rd February update for Mutant Chisel Labs. If this is your first time here, we hope you subscribe to our channel and will ring the bell. In October of 2019, I weighed over 220 pounds. My commute is over 3 hours a day, and on the weekends I would sleep 12 to 14 hours a night. And I would take several naps um, every Saturday and Sunday. So, after a bad choice with a maple bar on October 18th, I made the decision to go back on the keto diet. I've had great results with the keto diet before, and I knew the first few weeks would be the roughest. So I stocked up on some seltzer water, chewing gum, and sauerkraut, um, so I could get past the keto flu. Um, I just had a minor hiccup when I noticed my left eye twitch was back, so I decided it would be a good idea to go out and buy some electrolytes and get those in my diet. Um, and then the eye twitch has been gone ever since then. Um, on December 29th, I weighed in at 214.5 pounds. That's a six pound loss, and I did that through the holidays. Um, in January, I started keto with intermittent fasting. And on January 26th, when we weighed in, I weighed 204.5 pounds. So that was down from 214.5 pounds, so that was a 10 pound loss. I also lost three inches, um, an inch off my belly, and half inch off my neck, which I'm really happy about. Um, my clothes are fitting way better. And I'm not sleeping through the weekends all the time anymore. So in January, I was focused on keto and intermittent fasting. Um, I was working a desk job, so needless to say, I wasn't really moving a lot. And I was really trying to figure out what kind of exercise that I could get into in a day. Um, and then I found out they're moving me back to my old job. So I'm going to easily get 10,000 uh, steps five miles a day in. And now that the weather is getting nicer, I'm going to get some more bicycling in. So I'm kind of excited about that. I've got a new bike and it's awesome. When I'm at work and not intermittent fasting, my morning coffee is normally sweetened with stevia and some heavy whipping cream. Um, my lunch normally consists of like a Caesar salad with brisket um, or salad with sashimi or um, pho without the rice noodles is a really great option when you're on keto. Um, at home, we eat a lot of salads, uh, meats, vegetables, like um, Brussels sprouts and broccoli are some favorites. I um, like to get some sauerkraut in there, a lot of lettuce wraps. Um, sometimes I even get to treat myself and I'll have a little piece of Lily's chocolate. Um, and recently we've discovered Rebel ice cream, which is really super good. And the whole container is like five net carbs. Um, only thing is you have to thaw it for like half hour before you can... So January was a month of getting used to the keto way of life. Um, so taking what I learned in into February, and I'm going to add some more movement. So I've been getting about 10,000 steps in a day, and my goal for February is um, 290,000 steps. Um, so in March, I think my focus is going to be to hold myself more accountable and get better at documenting my meals and my exercise. Um, really use the food scale more and um, and I can see the great results that um, the custodian is having with meal prepping so I think I want to start adding meal prepping in for my lunches. Um, not only is that going to save me on calories, it's probably going to save me on a lot of money too. And okay, this is going to be my question and answer section so I'm just going to read through all the questions um, and then I'm going to answer them. So. Starting with question number one, what health programs have you tried? Um, I've tried Slim Fast, Body for Life, Weight Watchers, and Beach Body, to name a couple. Um, what worked with those? All the programs worked, if you followed them. Um, next question is, what is keto? Um, keto is a way to switch your body from burning carbs to burning fats um, instead. Um, so that's that's pretty much the short answer. Um, and um, let me know what you want below in the comments though and I'll put that in future videos about keto. Why go public? Well for the biggest reason for me is accountability so if I'm out here putting myself out on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and 
social media and actually out in the public, um, I had to be accountable for that. Um, what's in this for you? Well, better health is in it for me. I mean, that's the biggest thing. Um, but, but I do have a bet with my husband going that if I can lose 75 pounds for my starting weight um, through 2020, we're going to be taking a dream vacation to Japan in 2021. So I'm really excited about that. I really want to do it. Um, and if I can lose that much weight and get healthy, it's going to make it easier for us, easier for us to travel. Um, and we're going to have a better trip and I'll be able to do more things and see more things. And, um, smaller Jenny means smaller clothes. What's in this for others? What's in this for others? Well, I want to be healthier for my husband and for others that have some of the same challenges that I do. And I have a lot. I'm not going to get into that list in this video, though. But I want to show them that you can get fit and live a healthy life. I mean, I've done it before. Um, and I know that I could move better. And I felt better. And I breathed better. And then um, some of my other friends did it, too. And they had even bigger losses than I did. And um, so it's really awesome to feel that you can inspire others to make changes in their lives. Okay, another question is, any challenges that are unique by age, gender, region, profession? Well, I'm 55, and over the past three years have been some of the most stressful of my life. Um, I lost both my parents at the beginning of 2017. I went through menopause, um, had some big work changes, um, and so that's that's getting better now. So um, so it was a time to make the change. Um, I live in the Pacific Northwest, so we have Amazon and Costco, so I can get almost any food, beverage, supplement, anything I need to do this. Um, Okay, what do you find easy? Making lists for food and keeping it updated on my Google Drive. Then when we go to the store, I can pick up whatever we're out of. Um, so that's pretty easy. What do I find hard? Tracking anything, especially if I have to write something down or record it, you know, in an application and um, when I'm at work, it's hard to measure what I'm eating, and I don't want to be the nerd that's carrying a scale with her everywhere that she goes. Nobody wants to be a nerd. Seriously, you don't want to be a nerd. Being a nerd's bad. Being a geek, good. Last month, did you think you'd be where you are today? I thought it'd be further along than I am right now. Um, I was hoping to break back into Wonderland, meaning under 200 pounds, um, and I was hoping to do that by the end of January. And here we are in February, and I'm still around 202. So I'm pretty plateaued right now. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. But other people are seeing changes in me from the outside, so that's kind of encouraging. For your everyday diet, what do you do? And what do you do for food and exercise? In the morning, I'll do a keto coffee with, you know, Kerrygold butter. Um, some MCT oil, some stevia, maybe a little bit of collagen. Um, so lunch, I normally get a salad with brisket or I'll get a salad with like sashimi and avocado. Um, pho without rice noodles is a really good keto option. Um, dinner, we normally eat meat, vegetables, salad. Um, I try to cut out as much snacking between meals, but I'm not quite there yet. But it helps to have keto snacks around. Now we're gonna have some fun questions. What's my favorite anime show? Um, my first love was Speed Racer um, and Kimba the White Lion. Those were pretty awesome. Um, I really love Claymore and then they ruined it in the last couple of episodes. It really made it suck. They could have the best anime ever. So never watch Claymore, just skip it if you can. Um, One Punch Man is a lot of fun. That's kind of a guilty pleasure lately um and if you haven't ever watched the anime wolf strain watch it i highly recommend it um that's probably one of my favorite animes that i ever watched and it was actually an anime that i could watch in dubbed form which i normally like subbed but my husband doesn't like subbed anime and 
we watched Wolf's Rain in a stub form. I highly recommend it. We both loved it. Kirk or Picard? Spock. What was your first computer? Um, first computer was a TI-99 4A. Okay, here's the last of the questions. What is your daily routine to better your health? I'm having a hard time sticking to anything when it comes to exercise, diet, etc. Well, I'm going to be frank and honest. I have both ADHD and ASD, so I have to stay on plan. Um, I can't really vary from plan very much, but what helps me is when I'm going out to eat somewhere that I've never been before, I like study the menu um, and try to figure out what I can eat before I ever walk through the door of somewhere I haven't eaten before. Um, so that's that's really helpful. Um, something else that's really helpful is my husband's really starting to notice the changes in me. So he's really encouraged by that and he's really being encouraging towards me. And um, not that he wasn't before, he always has been. He's best husband ever. Um, but he also is getting to know my way of eating. So when he goes shopping, he'll buy what I need. And he always picks me up a little treat, like a little piece of um, Lily's chocolate that I can enjoy. Um, it also helps to have things around your house that you can go to if you need. So I like to have uh, flavored seltzer waters, um, essential oils, gum. Gum's twofold because if you do keto, you're going to get keto breath and that stuff's nasty I'm telling you so you always want to have gum my favorite is spry gum no aspartame because aspartame is one of the nastiest things ever um, I'm really digging on spindrift um, seltzer water because there's no natural flavors and natural flavors is a word for um, chemicals a lot of times because they don't actually have to list what the natural flavors are in a drink um, and keeping snacks nearby like walnuts, macadamias, a grass-fed pepperoni stick, and my favorite pork rinds and guacamole. Okay, so I think that's the end.